Hi everybody, it's Annie Zelda and Chris here. Hello everybody, welcome back. A bit cold today, but we're all right. Good. We've got a nice warm job in a minute, warm us up. <laughs> so uh, today, what's your plan? Today, we're going to make the mouse. Now this is the mouse. These are the things I hate making. Um, you can imagine that's a rail that goes up, the arm hits it and it goes up. And I'll be honest with you, um, I've made more than one and they don't always turn out right, so you just have to persevere till you get them right. They're quite temperamental, but once you've made one and you've got it running right, it'll last you for ages. Right. Right. Um, basically, that is the, um, the, the, the steel we use is um, 25 mil across, an inch across by 3 mil, which is the rail we use for the back on the backboard, which the mouse runs up. But we just pull that to one side, and what we're going to use to fabricate the mouse, you had a piece of um, 25 by 6 mil, which you were going to lay across your arms. You should have an offcut of that off your off your your piece. I said about get about two foot. If you can get a meter, then you've got a bit to play with. But uh, they always sell the steel by a meter anyway. So that is it's quite tight on there. We bend it round like you see. We do like a, a cold hammering process. And what we use is this. It's one inch by one inch angle line. I think it's about three mil as well. Um, and what we've done, we've marked it off into segments of 25 mil roughly. It's roughly three inches. Okay. If you understand that or... 25 mil, yeah, 75, you know, seven and a half centimetres. So I put that in the vise, nice and firm. This way it gets a bit noisy in a minute because I'm going to get the grinder out. But what you can do, if you haven't got a grinder, a metal cutting blade, just use a hacksaw, a simple way of doing it the old way. So I'm going to get my mask, amongst all the junk, put my mask on. Not much fun since I've started, stopped giving them away with the COVID, you've run out of mask now. Safety goggles is a must. And then this is where it gets noisy. Follow the line. What we've done, we cut one there. We just go to, to the edge of the steel. If you understand what I'm saying, the thickness of the steel is behind there. So we just go to that edge, we don't go all the way through. Okay. I'm just standing away because it's a bit like sparkling. Didn't help with the uh, rocks are just too much. Okay, quite a silly day today. So I will tell you the good thing, and where you were saying there. I said it doesn't help that my glasses are steaming up because it's quite a chilly day today. Take the mask off for a moment and leave our safety goggles on and uh, well, give them a bit dry on my jumper. <laughs> so we put three slots in there, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yep. So what we've got, we've got the centre one and we're going to bend the other ones round to make this shape. I'll just take it out of the vice, it might be a little bit warm but... So what we're going to do, if you can understand, that there is what we call the tongue, that bit there, which is this piece here, you see. Does that make sense? Yes, it does make sense. <laughs> it does, yeah. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to move the two lines out. We're going to bend these two round, wrap it round. I can't see because you're really. Because you're left handed, I know. Where you brought it in, haven't you? So we're going to put, put it in the vise, up to the line. Okay, where I'm we've cut it, I know you're going to have to in a minute. Up to the line of where we've cut it. Can you see that? That's better. Right up there. Right. So, tap it down to touch. On there. Get it started. You can either hammer it, I've chose to use these things because it's a bit handy. Gets it round. Cover your ears up because we're going to do some thumping now. I mean, if you've got a nice workshop with a acetylene torch or something like that, and you just heat the metal up and it bends round like butter, you see what we're doing now? We're making that shape. You see? Does that make any sense? Yes, 
it is. You, you might not think it does, but to the listeners out there, we're bending that round, you see, like that. No, it definitely makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Good. Right. Then, I'll try and get it in the vise the next one. I'm trying to remember how I did this. Oh, if we get it that way. I know it's complicated. We try and get it down to the line. Actually, if I do it that way, I can see it. We'll just get this down to the line. See where we're going down to the line? Can we see the line? Yes, we can now. Yeah, I'll just go on a little bit more. We give that a bit of a sap to get it started. Now we're going to do the second bend. We've done the first one at a right angle. We're going to get that second right angle. Put it in the vise. I've got a couple of pieces here of the uh, 25 by 6 mil steel. So if you have a piece of bar 12 mil thick, it would do exactly the same. Oh, there it goes. It's just, to, it's just to get it going round so we can thump it round and get it our second angle. If you've got a nice bit of heat or something to use with it, it'd probably make it a lot easier, to be honest. Yeah, because it's quite cold in here as well, isn't it? Well, exactly, yeah. So but this is going from... Once you get it running around like that... Perfect. Like that. Sorry I keep getting his arm, everybody. I'm trying to get in as best I can. See how we're doing it now? Like that. So we've got it so it stays on the thing, yeah. right? Next thing we're going to do, we're going to chop, cut these two lugs off, the bottom bits. These bits there, that one. Are we using that? And that one. So I'll be cutting along there, along that edge there, and getting rid of this bit. Right, show me then. And, and that bit, because we just leave the tongue. This is the front piece, you see? Does that make sense? Let me have a look properly. Yes, it does now, yeah? Yeah. Right. Is that using the grinder again? It is, yeah. I'm going to move back then because yes, uh, it's like firework night. Well, there you go. And Boys. make sure, folks, you've got your goggles and mask on. Boys' this. toys are called. Yeah. It's what we always want for Christmas. <laughs> we never well, want perfume. Is that a bit sexist these days? No, socks I'm and sure under. I'm sure there's plenty of girls out there that have asked for the What would you rather have, a grinder for Christmas or socks and underpants? Well... I suppose if you're into metal work, then find the... Like I said before, um, oops, you can uh, also use one of these uh, things here called a hacksaw, which uh, only take a couple of minutes longer actually, you know, nice good blade, an eclipse blade in it, and uh, Bob's your uncle. Right, so we've got that bit. Just be careful sometimes, you do get hot. We're just going to offer that into the vice like that. That makes sense, right? <clears throat> That's our word of the week. Making sense. Is that taking over from base? No, this is good. We do a bit of thumping now. Like that. And we get the grinder again. What we're going to do? We're going to. We're going to cut. Oops, a, a piece like this. We're making that lip now. If you understand what I'm saying, we're cutting that to the. There's got to be an overhang, otherwise, when it goes up, up the rail, it'll come off. Otherwise, I'm just trying to find a nice piece of steel to put it on. Oh yeah, that's a rail, isn't it? See what we're doing there? 
Yeah. If you cut it too short, it'll come off the rail. But we've also got to leave a gap in the middle because when we when we bolt this on with our counter sunk holes, and I'll show you after the nuts, it's got to clear it. So if it catches on there, it'll stop the mouse going up. You see. Right. Okay. So we got our goggles on again and our mask. Can't see a thing because there's just a big arm in the way. Oh, right. Anyway, all will become clear shortly. So it's a lip over there, you see. Now what we're going to do now? We'll set this up for a second. Put our goggles back on. We're going to give this a good pump now. So what we've actually done now? On this bit, you can see we're taking shape there. Does that make any sense? Hold on, yeah. It's kind of taking shape, bending round. We're back in the vise. We're going to get the cut it, cut it again. So this is the worst part of making strikers. I'll be honest with you. I hate doing these things, but. Uh, This I think is called French chalk or something. I, I don't know. I think dressmakers use it and uh, people who work with metal a lot. Is it French chalk, would you say? Might be. I've no clue. I don't know. Handy stuff though. Good box, you know, on steel and that. You can thingy. Anyway, I'm going to cut this again. So if you want to start, stand back a touch. So you don't get holes in your dress and I'll have to buy you a new one. That's right. You mean that's right? Put <laughs> mask on. Hey. Both bent round. And the fun bit starts out trying to get it. Then we have our mouse. Does that make sense? As usual. That's right. It does make sense. <laughs> Not the word of the week, is it? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what people prefer. Basically, or does that make sense? Basically, yeah. Or... In the vice a little bit. Give it a tap through. It's releasing it from a spare piece of steel. We had to wrap it round. Like I say, this is a uh, six mil, but it'd be running up a three mil track, so there'll be a bit of slack in it. You say once we've done it. Okay. I mean, you don't have to film this really until I get it out. It's up to you. I'm just gonna tap away at it until it comes free. your uncle hit the, hit the deck hit the deck as they say right we've got our strip of three mil steel and as you can see hopefully 
hopefully what it needs it just needs these edges bearing off i'll get the grinder on it now and uh i'll come back with come back to you in a second when i've done it and uh we'll tidy it all up with a grinder Okay. And then you're just like I said, it's just stopping it going up and down at the moment. So you're just shaving a tiny bit off. That's it, yeah. So I'll be back with you in a second. Right, uh, what I've done, I've basically done a bit of uh, I think it's called fettling, is it? Is that the word in metal work? Where you play about with it and uh, refine it. Uh, just been around with the, the grinder and just ground the edges off a little bit. And uh, just got the grinder in there, the blade of the grinder there and there. But you can use a flat file to do exactly the same. It just gives it a bit of play on it, so it's got to be loose. And then, hickory dickory dock, the mouse run up the clock, as it says, like that. 